What's up everybody? Welcome back to another edition of the Deep Dive and boy was it a busy week in the world of lacrosse. We got a lot to get through so let's dive in. I've wavered back and forth of where to start this week because the National Lacrosse League dropped three bombshells on us. So let's start with the return of the Hall of Fame. On Thursday, the National Lacrosse League announced 20 nominees up for induction into the class of 2021. On that list of 20 are some very familiar names that are sure to be locks to be inducted. Some of the others, familiar names from the past that are also very deserving. There's even some friends of the program. The Hall of Fame committee will announce the eight inductees on June 3rd with a formal ceremony closer to the entry draft in September. So who do you think will be joining coach Josh Sanderson in the Hall of Legends? The other two news stories of the week caught everybody off guard. First up on Monday, the Saskatchewan Rush announced they are being sold to the Priestner Sports Corporation for a record price. The good news, the Rush are staying in Saskatoon and will have a local ownership. The bad news, the guys from Southern California still have to go to Sask in the wintertime. The other newsmaker was the Toronto Rock, who announced that they are moving from downtown Toronto to the city of Hamilton, Ontario, about an hour away. They're still going to be called the Toronto Rock. They'll just play their home games at the first Ontario Centre. A little bit closer to home, it's the return of Rusty Bird. He's showing off his hops and embarrassing West Berg on the driveway court, and it sparked a bit of a conversation throughout NLL players. Which SEALs player do you think would excel professionally at another pro sport? More SEALs on socials. Zach Greer didn't let a little family time get in the way of watching some very important college lacrosse games over the weekend. And Eli Gobrek posted this throwback pick. I'm not too sure what's going on here, but Eli can definitely pull off the goth look. And finally, a big weekend coming up for a pair of our draftees in Docs Aiken and Danny Logan. Docs and the Virginia Cavaliers enter the NCAA Division I tournament as the number four seed, and they will take on Bryant. Danny and the Denver Pioneers come in as the number seven seed and will take on Loyola. We wanna wish both Docs and Danny the best of luck this weekend, and hopefully they continue to ride the wave of success all the way through championship weekend at the end of the month. That'll do it for another edition of the Deep Dive. Don't forget, keep up to date with all things SEALs on our socials at SEALSLAX. Head over to our website, SEALSLAX.com and check out our latest feature on Connor Fields. Until we speak again, stay safe and dive in.